Meanwhile, a father just wants to bring his dying boy home so the boy can die in peace. But a court in Canada says no. He will die in a hospital when the hospital staff is forced to remove his breathing tube. Earlier on this program, the father and the director of the Euthanasia Prevention Coalition joined us. The key to the system here is that what's happening more and more with these court cases against families like, like Mo's situation is that the doctors are taking over the care decisions. So in these situations, when in the past there used to always be a negotiation and a, and a common you know, decision for families, right now what's happening more and more is the courts are taking over and doctors are imposing their decisions upon families and that's becoming overly common. This case is one of the worst examples we've seen though. Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. is here. Peter, is government-run health care in Canada taking away parents' rights? Yes, uh, and unfortunately we could have it uh, here. Baby Joseph, uh, everyone agrees, is dying. The question becomes who takes on the best interests of this little boy. Sure. Do his parents, who are keeping vigil in the hospital, or does the consent and capacity Board of Ontario, Canada? Does the Office of Public Guardian and Trustee in Ontario, Canada, does a group of psychiatrists, lawyers, and members of the public who are serving, in a legal term, as parents patriae, in the place of the parent, in trust for the parent, right. who's acting in the best interest of the child, and should a government be acting in the best medical interests of the child, Steve. They want to bring their little baby home sure. to die, unfortunately. They say... And this is this is the judge, the Superior Court Justice, Helen Rady, who say, no, you got to leave him in the hospital. And, and, and these folks have gotten a new lawyer. They're hoping to go to Michigan, to an American hospital, because they've been treated well mm -hmm. and properly there before. But they are facing a bureaucratic nightmare. They are captured in this web of intense bureaucratic scrutiny that is making them look like criminals in Canada. And Peter, it's outrageous. Peter, this is, from where I sit, it's clearly a case where the parents should decide where this happens. It, but now the government has gotten involved, and people watching this right now are saying, hey, wait a minute, uh, Canada's got that government-mandated health care. Could that yes. happen in the United States? Of course. And, and, and so the government is saying it's a matter of who can act in the best interest of the child. But obviously, there are other considerations that go on here. The government is saying we want to remove the breathing tube from baby Joseph and let him die in the hospital. Uh -huh. The parents are saying give him a little tracheotomy in his throat to allow him to go home and die in the same fashion with dignity in his parents' arms in the same way that their daughter died oh, some time of ago. Of the same thing. Of the same disease. So there's not an issue of, well, this baby must be saved. Right. The issue is, what is medically compassionate? Who has the best interests of the child? No one has said these are abusive parents. These are loving, wonderful parents sure. from what we can see. So should the government arms be more uh, uh, inclusive? Should the government arms smother this family's love? I say no, and I say unfortunately, it's a sad but true lesson mm -hmm. to what could happen here in this country with the bureaucratic bungling of Obamacare. Well, let's take a look at what the health board says up in Canada on this particular case. They say, while we feel a great deal of empathy for the parents, we held that their view was not in any way realistic. And then uh, Joseph's parents said, we're blinded by their obvious love for their child, they say. Who can decide better how the child they brought into the world will pass and, and, and go to the next life? Who can decide better? The government's got to get out of this case. They've got to get out of this case. Save this baby, not his life, but save him an opportunity to die in dignity. That's what this family wants. Yeah, no kidding. They need our help. How do you feel? Uh, emails right now, friends at foxnews.com. Do you see the parents' point? Probably everybody does, but do you see the government's point? Let us know. The advisory panel, which has the ability to make more or less binding judgments on saying this particular expensive treatment actually doesn't do any good medically, and so we're not going to pay for it, that is actually going to save quite a lot of money. We don't know how much yet. The CBO gives it very little credit, but, but most, most of the healthcare economists I talk to think that it's going to be a really, a, a really major cost saving.